Wade is the principal and owner of Jamestown Veterinarian Hospital, Incorporated. Trudy served on the Guilford County Board of Commissioners prior to being elected onto, this, onto the Greensboro City Council in 2007. Trudy received her bachelor's degree in biology from Greensboro College and her doctor of veterinary medicine from Tuskegee Institute. She is professionally affiliated with the American Veterinary Medical Association and North Carolina Veterinary Medical Association. I'll just say that. Trudy has also received awards including Veterinarian of the Year by Guilford County Animal Shelter and Outstanding Board of Health Award from, from the Association of North Carolina Boards of Health. Trudy has served as chairman, as chairwoman to Greensboro Red Cross Board, Guilford County Board of Social Services, director to Association of North Carolina Boards of Health, president of American Business Women's Association and participated in North Carolina A&T State University federally funded college student training program. Trudy has been a member of Friends Home Board of Advisors, Greater Greensboro Community Health Partnership, Greensboro, Board, Greensboro College Board of Visitors, Guilford County Economic Development Council, Moses Cone, Wesley Long Community Health Foundation, and the Women's Hospital of Greensboro Educational Advisory Board. Please give a warm welcome to Ms. Trudy H. It's great to be here, and thank you for having me tonight. I really appreciate the opportunity to come and share with you. I know he read a long list of things. Mainly, I'm a veterinarian every day and a small business owner. The other thing is I get the, the privilege of being the city council representative for District 5. And I just want to tell you what an honor that is for me. I get to work with people every day in my district to help them with problems that may not seem big to some people, but they are to the people that I help every day and work with the city staff in order to resolve issues that in their lives really impact it. And to me, that's the best part of being a city council representative. And I wanted to share that with you. Now, I know that I'm supposed to come and speak on four, uh, three issues. So I'll start with the landfill. And I want you to look at a landfill from a di different perspective. Everybody says, I'm for, I'm against, I don't want to open, I don't want to close it. Um, the problem with the landfill is, one, our trash is costing us millions of dollars. There were conservative members of the council that decided we need to look at this issue for the people of Greensboro, all the people of Greensboro. Is there a way we could save money, and with that money, do things for economic development, such as put in infrastructure, do things we really need in this city. And are we getting the best bang for our buck with paying all that money to transport our trash, which is our responsibility, not our responsibility to go stick it in somebody else's backyard, but our responsibility as citizens that we should take care of our own trash. So yes, it's a hot item. It was emotional, but let's think about it a minute. Four of us, actually five, before one conservative member could no longer vote on the issue and had to recuse himself, took on this challenge of let's talk about White Street. Let's see if there's something we can do. It was never closed. It was always taking a small amount of waste, and it is permitted. We looked at the situation. We could save $8 million a year for the citizens of Greensboro. And that I heard the figure 3.5, but the figure's not 3.5, it's $8 million. We can play with numbers all we want, but the way you get to that number is you add the closure cost in over a period of seven years. So if you're gonna say we're gonna take 4.5 million out and use it for closure, it had to be there to start out with in your savings, so you're saving $8 million. You're just taking 4.5 of that 8 million and planning ahead for a closure cost that you know is gonna eventually be there in seven years. And then you have 3.5 that's a savings that's undesignated for what you're going to do with it. Now when you look at that, it took brave people to bring this issue up. There's been people on the council for years. You've heard some candidates tonight and city council representatives that stood up here and say, I've been on the council 12 years, 16 years. Well, we don't have a plan for solid waste and they've been there for that amount of time because they didn't tackle the situation. We did take it on. <laughs> and so if we haven't done anything else, we've brought it to the forefront. One, we've got to have a plan. 
Two, you can't just not take on your own responsibility in your own city for your waste. You can't just keep dumping it on somebody else. We would not even have talked about technology, regional landfill. That would all been swept under the rug and you would just still be paying to send it down to another landfill and we would have never even talked about the issue. So we have the issue out in front of everyone and now we're going to have to address it. It's not going to work anymore just to say, well, somebody else can worry about it, 16 years, or a new council can worry about it. We took it on. We wanted to find a solution. And I wanted to make that quite plain for all the citizens. The other thing I want to bring up is are we fiscally responsible? Yes, I think we have been for the last two years for sure. We haven't had a tax increase. And we had a water increase last year, but we came back and we uh, resolved that water increase. And uh, when we found out that we were also going to receive a large settlement. Now, do I think they're uh, about jobs? What do I think about that? I know you know that I spearheaded uh, the movement to have a business summit for small business. The next thing we did was from that summit, we started a small business office. Now, what that, how the city helps with that is, if you're a small business and you need directions with an RFP or anything like that, they can help you from that office. We can't create jobs, <coughs> but we can sure help you if there's a bid out there on an RFP, if you need to uh, have some instructions on how to fill it out. I just recently went to a small business summit in my district, and that was one of the things. They wanted to bid on items like $30,000, and you might not think that's anything, but it's very important to those people because it keeps one or two employees employed. Thank you.